I've been here 10 years and I've never seen such a powerful presentation ever. I honestly have. It was fantastic. It's been a very powerful three days, I feel like. But that's my opinion. So what I've asked anybody to do is come up and give a, a short uh, description of what they got out of this week, what they feel about. You know, and that's a, the, the biggest lesson that I learned through this whole thing is, you know, working on us is going to improve everything else around. You all really made this class interesting, fun, the interaction is incredible. So this week, we started Tuesday morning at 7.30, and it's been basically six hours a day of leadership training. And, and you, you talk real stuff, down to earth reality, but your personal stories, that's what I like most because I can relate in so many ways. It's been a little bit different training than a lot of people used to, where we don't play games or we didn't do a lot of PowerPoints and stuff like that. Saying, it's, it's just so much information, you can't grasp it from what we're saying. You got to be a part of it. But the entire, I feel like the entire week we've all have been like zoned in and got a lot out of what, what we've heard so far. But what they do, they package it into a way that's digestible and understandable, and that's the most important and relatable. I'm this the right team. here, it's powerful. So. Mac and, and uh, Rhea has used their personal and professional uh, experiences to explain these principles. I would say it's like a bunch of puzzle pieces you got. You don't know exactly where they go and how they work, but listen to your stories, taking it in, you kind of pull them in to focus, and you can kind of put them together. Um, I, I learned a lot. I just enjoy sitting here today, looking around at the class all week long. Eight hours, eight hours of in-class lecture and discussions. A lot of times, does what after lunch? People nod. I didn't see that the whole week. I was looking for it, and, but it, it was. I've taken a lot of leadership classes here in the county, and they're nothing but click, click, click. You all hit down, you know, hit home. But uh, to me, this class was like the example they talked about with the Grand Canyon. You can walk up to it, you can view it, you can see it. But if you're not there personally and you're not involved in it, it means nothing. Nobody can describe what you're going to get out of it until you're in it. It is. It's home. It really does. Uh, obviously, like, like you guys said, it's like a fire hose of information. You, most of it goes by you. you. You try to open your mouth and get as much as you can, and I try to you know, cast a net and catch some, too. Uh, to sum it all up, the books are good. Coming from somebody that was secretly completely against it. My thing is, is, you know, I started with Bobby with these books, and I appreciate Bobby starting with me. I think it helped me uh, be a better leader. I've turned my um, group around. And I think it's all because of the books that they're reading here. And now I see it. Going through the glass, I see the, I see the difference that the books are making. In me and in everybody that works. You know, I, I went along with it, and the whole time I was reading, I was like, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I, and I, did, I wasn't very supportive. And as time went on, I became more supportive. I, now I'm to the point I like the books. But uh, the training was way better than any book written, um, the referencing the materials, the stories were just, it was very impacting. But I will say I think the seminar was better um, because we actually got to put, you know, live bodies and got their life experiences mo even more than what the books share with you. Um, it forced me to look at myself. First, I want to thank you guys for giving me and all of us the opportunity to grow. Uh, knowledge is power, as we all know. You know, I've learned that some of the pieces, some of the lessons that I picked up here, you know, just working on me, there's a lot of things that I had to self-reflect it. Self-reflect and I, I'm not the best leader. You know, I learned a lot. Didn't want to read your book. Didn't want to have nothing to do with it. And um, I hit that line, look in the mirror. And I was like, yep, I'm that bad employee. So I got involved in your books. I got involved in a lot of readings. I'm actually leading some readings now. What's happening here today, and I, I don't know if y'all realize, is we're transforming the organization, we're changing the culture. We all got things we need to work on. Myself, it's a work in progress. 
you guys have helped me a lot with that, just to be a you know a good leader at home, a good leader here. Yeah, thank you very much for letting these people come in and really um, change our lives. I got a lot of stuff going on in my life besides here. So if I can change it here, I can change it there. That's from the people here. Thank you so much. I, I thought I was a, a pretty good leader, but I was kind of a hybrid of a leader and a manager. But I know if I stay the way I am with, you know, like that hybrid, that manager style, chances are uh, I'm not going to gain any ground. But if I can get myself um, transitioned into the leader, and it's going to take some time. I got, I got a couple more years left in me. But I think it's, it's, it's definitely worth the fight.